Hi, so our kiln is now loaded if you're just catching this video. In the previous video we talked about how to load a kiln. Now we're going to talk about firing and firing strategies. So everything that goes into a kiln has still got an, an amount of moisture. Um, it would be considered atmospheric moisture. So if you've got 85% humidity, there's still that kind of humidity in your pots. And we want that to all go away before we start the actual firing of the kiln. So I do a couple things for my work and I mean it's simple. We go through preheat and preheats are done on a digitally controlled kiln. Gonna... Okay, so we're sitting on the floor here. So this is how to do the preheat program on a SCUT. I mean most program programming is really similar. They're all made by Bartlett, I believe. So we're gonna do ramp hold. I'm gonna pick user three and enter segments. I'm gonna do one segment, so that's already there. I'm gonna do one ramp. The ramp that, that I'll use is usually 400 degrees an hour. Now that does not mean it's gonna go up to 400 degrees. It means in a half hour, it will reach 200 degrees. You don't have to go slow on the ramp up. It's, it's pointless to go you know, 50 degrees an hour, because it's gonna take you, uh, let's say it's 50 in here, and take you three hours to get to 200 degrees. That's slower than the heat going on in your house. So we don't need to go that slow. <laughs> we can go up quicker. We're gonna enter, and we're gonna go to 200 degrees. That's already in there. The 200 degree, I mean, you can go a little lower. You could probably go to 212 without blowing anything up, because it's gonna be it's gonna go, uh, steam doesn't really happen at 212 if it's under pressure, it'll, it'll go lower. But 200's fine, that's good. And at 200 degrees, we're gonna hold that for four hours. So after four hours, I will check the kiln. I will pull out a spy, I'll pull it out, and I'll look for steam. If there's steam, I will hit, you know, go through the program again and run it for another four hours. If you find that two hours is better and you want to check it every two hours, that's that's fine too. But if you run it for a set amount and then that call that done, whether it's two hours or eight hours, you could be wasting time and electricity by firing it when you don't need to, you know, when it's already done. Or you can be firing it too short and then blowing stuff up. So that's the uh, that's the program. I will hit. Enter, wait, enter. Okay, yeah, we got one more thing. An alarm. The factory always has the alarm at 999. I usually set my alarm at two, let's do 218. So if it gets to 218, this thing's gonna beep like crazy. And that will let me know, hey, that it's going past what I wanted it to go. Um, and I can stop it and check it. Now, if you set your, your alarm for, you know, you have it going to 200 and you have it for 201. When the elements shut off, when it gets to 200, there's gonna be a little bump. It's gonna go before the temperature starts to drop back down because there's still heat coming out of the elements and the brick around it. So I give it a little bit of a bumper. Enter. Okay, so then, boop, that's gonna go. Um, so if my pieces are really wet and I'm worried about things cracking, I would not turn my fan on. But these are all pretty much bone dry. I didn't put anything in that was super wet. So I'm going to run my fan. Mm, and it's over here somewhere. Ooh, nice loud fan. And that's it. Now it's running and um, I'll check it every hour to be sure. And then I'll check it and show you what steam looks like. And then when it stops, I'll show you that as well. Okay. So like I said, even though it's set at 200, it'll bounce up and down you know, past 200 as it, as it stays hot and the elements are going back through their cycle. Uh, to check for steam, we're going to turn off the vent, pull the top peephole plug, and then put a mirror over the top, like that. Condensation means, uh, you can see the, con yeah, you can see the condensation, doot, doot. means it is still got water in it. 
And these pieces were put in at bone dry. So we're gonna plug that back up, turn the vent back on and let it keep going. And then once you start your kiln, there's probably a good practice to go through a checklist of things before you uh, walk away from your kiln or whatnot. Make sure your vent's going, Make sure your computer is set to the correct temperature. You can hit the review program button. I do believe. Cone 06. That's what we're going for. Speed slow. So we have less, less mistakes. Make it a point to check it. Um, check around your kiln. Make sure there's no flammable bits. There's nothing on top of the kiln. There's nothing in the crack ear kiln. Nothing to catch there. We already checked the steam. So it's good to go.